What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're going to be talking about how to get over a girl. Um, a lot of guys, I would say 90% of the questions that I get uh, via email, DM, whatever, is Lloyd, I have this problem with this one girl and blah, blah, blah. They tell me like this huge story. Um, and then in the end, my answer to them is almost always the same. I'm like, stop going after this girl that's giving you so many problems and go after other girls who won't give you these problems. And I say this advice and I know a lot of times they know that this is the answer to their problem. They're just not ready to, to they're just not ready to move on. And so in this video, what I'm gonna be covering is I'm gonna be covering all the steps that I use to make sure that it's very easy for you to move on and you don't have to like have all your emotions tied to this one person. Because typically what happens, and this is what my tips are gonna be for they're all based around this, is if you have a good foundation, meaning that before the girl came in, life was pretty good. <laughs> uh, if you have a good foundation, it's not gonna be that big of a deal if she leaves. Like if you already have a great thing going and then something good comes along and then you lose that good thing, well, you still have a great thing going on. So it's like, you know, it's a shame it didn't work out, but I still have a great thing going on here. But if you don't have a great thing going on, like you're kind of down here, like life's not that good, you don't have a lot of things going for you, then if a little piece of happiness comes in, some girl, some woman that is pretty or whatever, she comes into your life and you will do anything that you can to hold on to that happiness. You'll do really needy, you'll do really loser, low value behavior that's just not gonna help you, your life, or the girl in general. So. If you want to be able to get over a girl, the first thing is you need to have uh, good friends and family, okay? Have a good circle of friends, have a good, uh, you know, close family that you can connect with. And look, man, not everyone can choose their family. In fact, no one gets to choose their family, but you can, uh, if you do have a family that's like, it's all right, uh, you can contact them more talk to them more, spend more time with them. You know, that's one thing. I'm fortunate to have a good family, so anytime that I feel like I'm separate from them, I try and keep in contact with them a little bit more, and I feel better. I feel more connected with people. Also, too, for a close friends groups, especially this is important if you don't have a, a good close family that you can count on, uh, is having a good set of close friends. Spend time with them. Put effort into them. If you're the type of person who expects your friends to support you no matter what, well, you need to be putting time into them. You can't just you know aimlessly think that, uh, oh, if I ignore my friends and then after my breakup or after this girl leaves me, they're just going to come coddle me and support me. Um, if you've not been supporting them, then they're probably not going to support you back. So this is a good time for you to start spending more time with your friends and that way you have a good foundation so that the next time a girl leaves you, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay. Thing two is to be on your purpose. Be on your purpose. Okay. This is a paramount for a guy, this is a paramount for, I think people in general, is to find out what you like doing, find out what you wanna be good at, uh, and keep doing it, be competent at something. A big reason why people have such a, they have such a uh, horrible like feeling when someone leaves them, when someone goes away, is because they don't feel important anymore. They placed a lot of importance on that person, uh, and then when they leave, they don't have that anymore. But if you already have something that you place importance on, that you're good at, uh, that you're doing, that you're passionate about, a career, or maybe you're, you're good at a, a sport, or, or whatever it is, have something that you're doing um, that's your purpose that you're that you're on. And at the end of the day, even if a, a woman or whoever leaves you, that's going to be the most important thing in your life. And so it's not going to be that big of a deal. You're going to be able to move on a lot easier. Okay. And the third and final thing is have options. You know, you probably thought that I was going to put this first because I talk about having options with women all the time and this is a dating channel. And I've definitely been there before where I've tried to, you know, sleep with a bunch of women to get over another girl and it can help for the short term. You can feel fun. You can feel good in the moment, but usually after they leave, after they go, uh, you know, they go home or whatever, you're back to the way you felt before, and sometimes you can feel even worse. So I recommend that for the first two things, that those are the most important, and the third one is obviously having options. You know, it's not gonna be that big of a deal if a girl leaves you if you have a lot of other girls that you can talk to as well too that are interested in you. Now typically what happens is that 
you know, guys just want to go out and they want to replace the girl that left them, well, that's going to be pretty hard, especially if you had strong feelings for that girl. You're probably not going to find a girl as good as her immediately, like 99% chance you're not going to. But if you improve yourself in the future, you may. And so having options, sticking to yourself, um, going after your goals, your purpose, spending time with your friends and family, all of those things are going to really help you move on. And if you have a good foundation of that, um, then you're not going to have too many problems when it comes to ditching a girl who's giving you a, a huge headache. And too many guys, because they're not in a good position, are pursuing women that just aren't interested in them. And that's like one of the neediest, most low value loser things that you can do. So have a good foundation, guys. Um, and if you're wondering how to get that, uh, send me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. You'd probably be a good uh, candidate for my coaching program. I have a, sp a few spots opening up for that right now. Uh, so send me an email with a little bit about yourself, your age, your name, uh, where you're from, uh, where your goals are with women, uh, and we'll see if we can work something out. So uh, also, too, I came out with a new Facebook group, which is going to be for all guys that are serious, get a community of people that you can talk to. Um, I respond to questions faster there, and uh, I'm ready to keeping up with it. So thanks a lot for watching, you guys. If you made it, consider subscribing. Good luck out there.